We start out with the vector drawing of the hummingbirds, where all shapes with the same color have been grouped together. To paint a group of shapes, we simply select a group and click on a wood swatch in the image palette located to the far right. Image Paint just duplicated the selected shapes and placed them on top of the wood image we clicked on. This image is called the clipper image. We can now reposition the duplicate shapes on the clipper image and instantly preview the effects on the design. Not shown in this demonstration, but we can select the clipper image and click on an image swatch to swap the wood images. This is a quick way to repaint multiple shapes with a different image. Once the designs are completed, we select the clipper image and let image paint create the necessary toolpaths to imprint the shapes on the wood veneers using an inkjet printer. But in this demo, we will send the tool paths to the laser machine for cutting. We now instruct Image Paint to create a new JPEG image with the shapes filled in black. After which, Image Paint will update our wood library with the new wood image it just created. Notice the tool paths generated were mirrored. So here the laser is cutting on the negative side of this paper back veneer. Cutting on the negative side of the veneer is required to produce a tight fit when it is time to assemble the pieces together. Also not shown in this demo, we have configured image paint to slightly enlarge the shapes it generated earlier to compensate for material loss due to the finite size of the laser beam diameter. This feature allows us to use image paint with different laser machines and from different laser manufacturers. The easiest and most satisfying part of this is putting the pieces together. Image paint advanced tool path generation algorithm assured each and every cut is perfect. This means the pieces will fit easily and tightly together. Here we use the metal bars to temporarily hold down the pieces that were in place before assembling other pieces. As shown here, it is a good idea to assemble the bird's tail before placing it into the background veneer. Occasionally we also need to tape the assembled pieces with scotch tape to prevent them from falling apart. Use laser raster mode to engrave the lid to a depth equals the veneer's thickness. The raster resolution set at 400 Hz will be adequate for this task. In this demo, we use the regular tight bond wood glue, which can penetrate the wood's pores of certain wood species and cause undesirable dark spots to show through. A better glue to use is the tight bond melamine. Clear wood glue. Another good glue to use is CA glue. If you use CA glue, high pressure clamping used in this video is not required since this type of glue will not expand the veneer. Since we use PVA glue in this video, we need to clamp the design for half an hour. This allows the veneers to stay flat on the box while the glue dries.